Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Royal Instinct. Today we are going to be watching a video by a lady called Lana Blakely. Uh, it popped up on my um, recommended list. The video was called I'm Okay Being Average. And I was like, oh, that's strange. Uh, the picture, the thumbnail was of this very, very pretty attractive girl. And uh, she said, I'm okay being average. And I was like, well, you you don't look average, love. Like, she's very, very attractive, a very beautiful yeah, young lady. I don't know how old she is. Let's assume she's young. That's always a compliment that women like. Uh, you know, oh, you look old. <laughs> like, like, like uh, most women will be very offended. Even if they are old, they'll be like, I'm not old. Um, yeah, she's a very attractive lady. Uh, looks Slavic. Looks... Um, Eastern European, but she's uh, lives in America. Okay, so Lana Blakely is okay with being average, and I was like, oh, okay, that, that that's very humble of you to say that. Uh, and then and then I kind of clicked on her because uh, I found it intriguing. I clicked on it, and then it was like this this girl's got one point six million followers, subscribers on YouTube. You're not average, love. Okay, so I haven't watched the video yet. All right, I'm gonna watch it in real time with you. Okay. Um, but I was like, I smell some bullshit here, All right? And I was like, let's have a look at what this this girl was saying. <laughs> what this girl was saying, okay? Because um, I smell a little bit of bullshit. Uh, an above average girl, above average intellect, uh, in terms of that she's able to position herself in a way that she can have one six one one point six million uh, followers. I don't believe that, you know, I mean, obviously, you know, being pretty is an advantage, but, you know, you still have to do some things right to 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 amass that type of following. Um, and uh, I don't know what the fuck, how many Instagram followers she has. I don't really care. But like 1.6 uh, million YouTube followers is, is nothing to laugh at. Let's see what she's doing right. Um, what, what are we trying to do here on your Royal Instinct? Uh, quick thing about me is I am looking for 100 people, 100 people who are on a mission to change the world, who understand what is happening in terms of AI taking over, in terms of the WEF taking over. Uh, we live in a possible dystopian future ahead of us, okay? AI will displace most of humanity in terms of work. The only thing that is left for you to do is to become a content creator, for you to funnel that money and attention towards you to rise to the top, to be seen as a king. You need to build a kingdom. Why do you need a kingdom in today's society? Because uh, once you have a kingdom, once you have a king, once you're seen as an expert, once you are seen as a authority, uh, you will attract the best business deals, the best um, business opportunities, the best social opportunities and the best dating opportunities. If you want to live the best life possible, you need to get ahead of the curve. You need to be at the top and build a um, network. I'm building a network of 100 kings. I want you to be part of it. And together we will form an alliance and take over the world and make sure that we steer uh, humanity towards a, a better future and a uh, more freer future right because where i believe that we are headed right now uh seems very dystopian seems very um it seems like a prison if you ask me okay if you understand what i'm talking about if you want to um, do something about it then you need to reach out to me let's see if we can work together um i'm i'm i'm, I'm not here to speak to nine billion people in the world i'm just looking for 100 people and if you think that you are supposed to do something great with your life. If you are destined for greatness, to, you are supposed to do something above average. You are supposed to do something great. This is your uh, court adventure. This is the moment in the film where you decide that you're going to rise up and do something about the evils in the world or that you'll just sit back and just fade away into oblivion, into um, nothingness. Uh, you'll never reproduce. you never have any kids. So if you have kids, they won't respect you. Because you you didn't stand up for humanity, so so this is your this is your last message. This is your last uh, wake up call. Uh, it, if you think fuck, if you, if you don't think nothing bad's gonna happen in the next five years, then then fuck off anyway. And, uh, like we don't we don't need you around. Like go go back to your Netflix, and, 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 and but but don't come back to me to save your fucking ass. I'll probably end up saving your ass because I'm a good person, right? But right, I'm gonna be living a life of luxury. Right, if I just give you like a burger. I, I still feed you well. Do I? Like, that's what I mean. I'm, I'm such a nice guy. Like, you know what I mean? Even if I try to be a dickhead, like, I can't. I just can't. I'm, 
I'll look after you. Don't worry. But um, anyway, the, the people who want to do something about it, uh, reach out to me. Let's see if we can work together. Let's get into the video. Let's listen to Lana Blakely and her average life with a 1.63 million followers on Would YouTube. Would anyone like to take a guess at what is 4,000 weeks long? It is the average human lifespan. The average human lifespan. It's only average human lifespan because of the technological advances that medicine has brought about. Uh, so we live in a very blessed society at the moment, right? But humans always think that it needs to get better and better and better. And now that they have introduced AI into the equation, I think it could be a detriment to the world. <clears throat> but hey, 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 who am I to say anything? Oh, you know, you're being a boomer, right? I'm not a boomer, by the way, I'm a millennial. But um, <laughs> you're being a boomer, you're being anti-progress. Uh, okay, not every fucking progress is great. Right, you know, hey, hey, I'm, I'm only here... I'm only here to, to, to tell you what's happening. Yeah, you, you can decide what the fuck you want to do. Come on, Lana Blakely. So you're really going to tell me that I was born into this ginormous world with a vast variety of places and people and animals and art, and I won't be able to even experience a fraction of it? What? Okay, right. So she wants to have it all. She wants to do it all. And she's like, oh, I can't exp experience everything. No, you're not supposed to fucking experience everything, right? Like, I, I am a man. I'm not to, I'm not supposed to experience childbirth, all right? I'll, I'll leave that to the ladies, okay? Ladies, right? You tell me it's fucking difficult. I believe you. But I don't need to fucking feel it, okay? Uh... I'm not trying to fucking even play a game of top trumps where you're like, oh, like this is very difficult. I'm like, yeah, look, that that looks hard. Like you're, you know, I can see your vagina just being like ripped open. You know, do you know what the most disgusting thing is about childbirth? By the way, is um during childbirth, like they're pushing so hard, they end up shitting themselves. Just leave you, uh, just leave you with that thought. But um. Yeah, I'm. I'm not trying to fucking like play top trumps. Like, like it is difficult, you know, ladies. But you also, most women survive it, right? Like they they go through it, and then do you know what? It it's so painful and so difficult, right? That that some some women even have multiple children, right? So is it that difficult? I don't know. Look, I will never understand, right? I will never understand how painful it is, but. You can't moan about it if you go and then do it again. That's what that's what I'm saying, right? If, if you have one child and you and you thought fuck that, that is so painful. I'm never doing it again. Fair play. But to the ladies that had uh, multiple children, I'm like, I, I mean, you know, if you can do it once, if you can do it twice, I'm like, you know, you can take it. Come on, like, right? It might it might it might strain, it might hurt a little bit, but anyway. Lana Blakely, right? Like you can't, you can't, you're not allowed to experience everything, right? Experience childbirth and then go, go, go away. What kind of bullshit is that? I was recently scrolling through classes to take at university. I was looking for something with a writing or a directing. And I this girl just uh, seems like she has so many options that she's just overwhelmed and she's like, oh, I can't. Oh, I have to, I have to pick literature. Why can't I pick um, modern art? Why can't I pick historic art? Like. This is the problem with most of humanity is, is, is like, look, like, like we're supposed to do things uh, at certain ages. Like, like when you're in your childhood, you're supposed to play. When you're in your teens, you're supposed to study, right? When you're in your 20s, you're supposed to experience your first, your first love, your first career, your first, you know, whatever. By the time you're in your 30s, you're supposed to be in a groove, right? You're supposed to be in, in, in some type of family fucking life. Um, do you get what I mean? And, and 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 this girl's like, oh, I got all the time in the world. Let me experience everything, and, and, and it's unfair that I don't. But but do you know what? Who who doesn't care that it's unfair? Is is Mother Nature? Okay, Mother Nature, right? A female. Nature is female, guys, right? Time is is masculine, father time, but Mother Nature doesn't like it, right? Mother Nature wants you to rein it in a little bit, right? Lana, Lana. Rain it in. Stop it. Right. You can't try everything. Right. Pick one and get on with it, love. 
ended up with 20 plus tabs open. Nutritionist, doc. See, see, she, <laughs> tw who needs 20 tabs open, right? Like, they, they come to stage in, in, in a person's life is, is like, you just have to fucking pick a thing and go for it. And, 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 and this girl's like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, you know, like, she, she's so privileged as well. Like, 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 you, you can just tell that, like, Elite schools, elite everything, 1.64 million, million followers, you know, fucking, I bet her, her mum's fit as well. Do you get what I mean? Like, she had a beautiful mother, good genetics. Um, and, and then she's still complaining. Like, oh, I don't get to try everything on my 20 fucking tabs on my phone. Like, just get, get over yourself, Lana. Dog trainer, gardener, chef, interior designer, performer. Oh, did she say she's got her own chef and interior designer? I, I'm not going to rewind, but it's like... Okay. Former, I want to do it all and I want to be it all. Or at least she wants it all. That is the modern problem. We were promised that we can have it all. We can promise we we could try it all, but we are running out of time, guys. Like um the last hundred years, let's say. Uh post World War Two. Post World War Two was a great time in human history. It was a great time for people on this planet. Okay. What happened was um, we got used to it. Like we are really the third generation in this time period, right? Third, third or fourth generation. And we got used to it because we didn't see the previous generation struggle yeah, in the time where they were just uh, working paycheck to paycheck, uh, trying to put food on the table. Now we're trying to fucking build businesses and empires, Okay. And um, because we can't see it, because we haven't experienced it, we thought this is the norm. Uh, all through history, this is not the norm, okay? And the elites want you back in your cage, okay? They want you back to, in your room. And that is why they're creating the metaverse, by the way. That is why they're creating all these virtual reality toys, uh, Apple Pro, whatever it is, um, Apple headset, I don't know what the fuck it's called. But um, they, they, they are pushing all this to lock you in into virtual reality, okay? We, we're migrating onto the internet, right? You might live on Earth, you might live in your country, but you will be existing on the internet, okay? It is the new planet, it is the new Earth, it is the new universe that you will inhabitate. And um, if you can't see, if you don't understand what this is, that, that then you are very, very slow, you're very, very far behind, uh, and you will be left behind into this next phase that we are headed towards. And in this next phase where you're headed towards is uh, there will be no humanity left. And then you'll just be some sort of program absorbing all the things that virtual reality has to offer. And then, and then Lana can do what the fuck she wants. She can run virtual um, uh, multiple uh, simulations of, of her life as a chef, her life as an interior designer and see what the fuck happens try them let's just say that i was a difficult kid in this regard i'm 27 difficult fucking kid she's a difficult adult like do you go know i mean like it's like it's never ending it's like oh mom i don't i don't want rice today i want potatoes oh mom oh, i don't want chicken i want beef oh mom oh, i don't want ice cream i want cake no I, I bet you i bet you everything she fucking said she was like complaining it's like do you go know i mean like <laughs> if you if you're a guy and you go on a date and you bring her back to your room, if you flop out your cock and she's like, oh, no, it's too big, I can't. And then like, if, it, if you flop out your uh, uh, like an average size cock, it's like, oh, do you want it? It's kind of small, I don't want it. Like, whatever size it is, it's just, she'll find like a reason to complain. She just seems like your typical person that always fucking complains. And I'm still a difficult kid who calls her mom at least once a week with a new... Uh, I mean, you know, look, at least there's some self-awareness from Lana Blakely, everyone. She calls herself a child, a perpetual child who refuses to grow up, okay? That is a problem uh, in, in, in today's society is, is we, we're surrounded by fucking children who think that they have all the time in the world. And she dares to call herself average when she is privileged enough to be a perpetual child in her... Let's see what her fucking age is. Hang on, let's see what her age is. I mean, she's t 1995. She was born 29. I mean, she's fucking 30. This woman doesn't look it. Great genetics. She doesn't. She looks. She could pass off for 22 and 23 in my books. Right? Great, great, great looking lady. However, come on, like you know, you, you're nearly 30, calling your fucking mum, and you're refuse to make any choices. Um, 
Do, do, do you know why she's so skinny? It's because um, she orders a bunch of food, but she can't choose, decide on what to eat. So she doesn't eat anything. Idea or plan. Mom, should I backpack Europe? And I'll bring Fred with me. Mom, I think it would be really cool to be an interior designer. Mom, I think I'm applying to film school. By the way, um, she still works in, she, like, she's, she works at McDonald's, right? Like, like she, she's one, she's a drive through girl, right? Who's like, you know, oh, can I get your order, please? And then she takes your money. Like, because she still has a part-time job because she's still trying to figure out her career path. So just to let you know, she works in, well, wait, wait, let's see where she lives. Uh, she's Swedish. She is Swedish. Shocker, guys. She is from Stockholm and lives in California. And if you're ever in the uh, California area, if you're ever in L.A., uh, go through the McDonald's on um, Sunset Boulevard and you will see <laughs> Lana Blakely working the McDonald's drive-thru, everybody. Good for her, though. You know, at least she's I have working. a fear of not experiencing life as much as I can. I she has such a fear of not experiencing life as much as she can. She never leaves the fucking house. I fear that I'm taking life for granted. What can I say? Life she is taking life for granted because she's not making decisions. Like life is life can only be lived once you make a fucking decision. Okay, so if you're not if you're not making any decisions, then then you are not living life. Life really excites me, and I don't remember the last time that I was bored. In fact, oftentimes I'm. The opposite of bored. I'm overstimulated with all the things that I want to do at every given moment and overwhelmed with the fact that I need to pick only one thing. I'm curious, perhaps. But, you know, philosophies, skills, causes, there is always something to do or to learn about. There are so many lives to live. I'm just in constant. I mean, there's so many lives to live. Right. But um, if you live a lot of many little lives, it's a very shallow existence. OK, uh, sometimes you have to just pick uh, one thing. Do you get what I mean? It, like, for example, I am Punjabi. I am. I was born to a Sikh uh, household. I was um, born in England. I was raised in Germany, uh, moved back to England when I was 10 years old. Um, and now I am a British gentleman. Obviously, you can see I'm a British king. I am of royal descent. Do I need to live like a ballerina? Do I need to live like a Norwegian? Right. I have many little things. I have many little different hats that I can already wear. I can be Punjabi. I can be Sikh. I can be German. I can be English. There's many different spheres I can discover, right? But I don't need to now be a Mexican. I look like a Mexican sometimes. Do you know what I mean? If I shave my beard and I just had the mustache you know, and wear a sombrero on my fucking head, I could pass off as a Mexican. However, I don't need to experience that. Do you know what I mean? Give me a shot of tequila. Right? Yeah, uh, that's enough. Do you know what? Mexican food is great. I love it. But I don't need to be a fucking Mexican. I don't need to now move myself to Chichen Itza and, and live life like an ancient Aztec. Do you know what I mean? Like a fucking Mayan. Uh, study the Mayan calendar and live my life accordingly to what the Mayan calendar has to fucking say. It's this girl needs to make a decision with her life. This is why she believes she's average when she's above average. And is it a grift? You guys tell me. All of the fact that millions of years of evolution has led to me being here at this very moment. You know, the, also that happening was basically zero for all of us. And yet here we are 80 years. Do I, now, now um, obviously, um, Googling and discovering that she's Swedish, a lot of this, this shit that she uh, thinks um, makes sense. Sweden supported Nazi Germany uh, during World War II, and they have a lot of um, systemic guilt, I guess, built in because they, they can't, they can't even supported it. They, they got rich off the back of uh, helping out Nazi Germany. Um, I think, I, I think sometimes, like it, it once a few generations go by, you just have to uh, you know, draw a line in the sand. I, I'm I'm an ethnic person who grew up in Germany, and um, I never experienced any racism in Germany. Shocker. Okay. Um, do the current German people need to pay for their German forefathers? No, no. 
than Nazi forefathers, no. I think I think I think there comes a time and it's like let's move on guys, okay? Anyway, um this person is obviously, you know, still carrying some sort of fucking guilt in her head. She's very libertarian. She's very, um, I don't think she's libertarian, actually. She's very just socialist, isn't she? Uh, she thinks she's going to experience everything in the world and save the world. Years, 4,000 weeks. That's the average human lifespan, if we're lucky, which okay. is absurdly terrifying. I'm going to wrap up in a bit, but I'm just going to fast forward a little bit just to see if she says anything profound. Terrifyingly, in my doing what's meaningful and what matters and am i pursuing the wrong thing you know we all want to make the best decisions for ourselves but the truth is that we don't know the outcome of anything ever we don't know well she can't know the outcome of anything because she never picks anything do you go know what i mean she 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 she, she starts over here and then she moves over here and then, but she never sees anything through so, so there's no depth to her life at the end of the day like she, she just tries it and no wonder she ends up average okay Right, she, no wonder she she thinks she's living an average life. She's an average person because she she has no fucking depth. She doesn't see anything through. Whether or not we will be satisfied with the choices that we make, we don't know whether or not we will feel happy or fulfilled. You know, not until we've done the damn thing, and by that time it might be too late, and we're haunted. I mean, she's nearly thirty. Of course, it's fucking too late. By the words, what if I would have chosen differently? Life. I think. Uh I think every two weeks, that's what she thinks, and she tries something, something else. It's a guessing game, and we're all just winging it, hoping for... No, not everyone's winging it. Some people are fucking very determined, and they know what the fuck they're doing. ...for the best outcome. And sometimes we're afraid of making the wrong choice, and so we end up choosing... I mean... You know, here on Royal Instinct, I, I encourage you to start making content, uh, to start um, rising to the top. This girl just admitted that she's winging it, okay? She's a pretty face. Right, she's beautiful, um, but she's winging her content. She does not know what the fuck she's doing. She is literally lying to her followers. She is lying to herself in essence. Um, and she's probably praising her back. She's like, oh, I'm doing really well in life. Like, oh, well done. Well done, me. Well done, Lana Blakely. Um, should we carry on? Uh, I do want to call it a day. All right, let's just couple more minutes. Let's fast forward. It. Let's see what else she has to say nothing at all but that too is a choice how, how the, the hell, hell does one, one navigate, navigate through, through all, all of this? this you pick something and stick to it let's talk about that let's take a quick break to talk about one of my favorite spots to go to do you know what if she was 22 i would i would let her off but she's 29 it's like love sort 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 yourself out to when i want to find new topics that i would have otherwise probably not been exposed to it's this place called Skillshare. And you oh, okay. And now she is doing her product placement. Do you get what I mean? Now she's um, from plugging Skillshare. She's doing all that bullshit. Like, it would be so much more authentic if there wasn't a fucking ad in the middle of a content. Do you get what I mean? It's like, oh, la, 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 let's promote Skillshare. Oh, do you know what? Like, oh, I wish I could go to school shares, uh, so I can learn a bunch of shit so I wouldn't uh, be in this position that I am where I'm fucking aimless in life. Love, like, like she, she needs to sort herself out. She really needs to sort herself out. Of the video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands. Okay, I'm going to forward this, this this little place like this. Look, hang on. I, I, just, I skipped like fucking five minutes and she's still talking about school share. I can become a better runner and perhaps even a become a better runner. What is she talking about? Like what? What? Where? where she's not going to find compete in a marathon at the age of twenty nine. I'm sorry. Like that shit. That ship has sailed. Painter. I can be super outgoing when I want, and I can crawl back into my shell when I want, and I can care about my. She. She. She has no direction. She is just somebody who got very, very lucky. In the sense of, uh, she was able to uh, capitalize on her looks, capitalize on her her popularity, create content, and and now she her her, her brain is telling her, oh, because you've done so well, because you have so many followers, you must be doing something correct, and it has fucked up her mind. It has warped her reality. Um, these are the people who are winning in life, by the way, guys. Okay, you need to get ahead. You need to stop these people. Uh, you need to dethrone these people. You need to 
bring better information to uh to to your audiences so so they can live lives all she's adding to the conversation is confusion by the way okay I, I i genuinely i genuinely gave her a fucking chance uh she has disappointed over and over again she is a scammer she is a um like li literally like it's all about just fucking putting that fucking skillshare advert in the middle in it that's why she made a t 20 minute video Telling me that I was born into this by default and who never pulls, but that would take away from time that I spend on other things that are important to me too. And perhaps that means that I will only have a... She sounds like a very, very shallow person who, that, who has nothing that is important to her. A decently well-behaved puppy. Or for example, if I spend two extra hours on these videos, they would be more cinematic and the storytelling would be more compelling top of everything. I think finding a balance is what we want, but what does balance even look like? What does it look like to me? What does it look like to you? Does it look like juggling many things at once? Does it look like doing one thing at a time? You know, it's going to look different for everyone, but I think one thing that I dare say we all have in common is this inner desire to enrich those 40,000 weeks that we each have on average. And figuring out what that entails for each of us, I guess that's the hard part. I mean, guys, this is over. This is, this is, this is over. Like, 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 this is your competition. She has no clue. She has no self awareness. She has. She's literally just wasted like 10, 10 minutes of your time just spouting a bunch of nonsense. Like, I'm okay being average. Like, yeah, like one day I'll be a painter and then I'll do some interior designing. It's like, it, it, she's babbling a lot of nonsense. Like, fair play to her. She's making her money. She is securing her future while you sit back and you'll be uh, put into false imprisonment. You'll be fucked up by AI. Um, guys, you need to wake up, start making content right because she's winning and you're not if you understand what i'm saying if you understand what i am about then you need to reach out and see if we can work together um i can teach you to be a hundred times better communicate and more charismatic than this woman um lana blakely fair play to you right i'm not hating on you i don't give a fuck like what the fuck you do you are winning because you have 1.6 million followers uh just know that the people who are working with me will dethrone you if you are lucky enough, you will still survive. You will still survive. And you can carry on eating your Swedish meatballs in California. Imagine that. That's a nice combo, isn't it? You have a California roll with uh, some Swedish meatballs, uh, right? And some and some chips. But um, that is it for today. If you understand what I'm doing, if you want to reach out, work together, then uh, come say hello. Everybody else, go fuck yourself. And good night.